Hi everyone, it's Tanya and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be another announcement for you, which hopefully will excite you. <laughs> because it does excite me and I feel like it excites a lot of people on our Discord group of the BBB Book Club. This idea came out of out of the blue. We were just having a conversation on our Discord group and then an idea hit me that I want to read the Odyssey. Should we read the Odyssey? <laughs> so I suggested it and a few people supported the idea, like absolutely should. <laughs> and then we decided that Od since Odyssey is actually a second book in a kind of trilogy, so we decided to read the whole trilogy. So this video is an announcement for you. In the framework of the BBB book club, we are going to read the Iliad, the Odyssey and the Aeneid, which I still don't have yet, but I will get eventually. And these three texts, they are such foundational texts you find references to them in many works of literature that came after them. So I feel like they're absolute, absolute must reads. That's why we decided to create this read-along. So the plan is as follows. In March, we are reading two books for the BBB Book Club. We are reading The Count of Monte Cristo and the second book is The Old Drift. If you want to join into those two body reads, you are always welcome to do so. The link to the Discord crew is in the description box down below. The Old Drift is actually quite a short book, it's just 500 something pages, so we thought we would finish it in March and then from April we would start reading the Iliad. So the plan is one book a month. So the Iliad in April, um, the Odyssey in May, and then the Aeneid in June. I make this video so early, so everybody who is willing to join and who wants to read the book with us would have enough time to get a copy. For themselves. Now as for the translations, the, the majority of the group will be reading Robert Fagel's translation, because the people who have already read the Iliad, they said that the Rob Robert Fagel's translation is very readable. Plus, these covers are beautiful, so these two editions and also the Aeneid, they are very beautiful and they, lo they look stunning together on the shelf. So yeah, majority of the of people will be reading um, Robert Fagel's translation. I will be reading this translation too. This is like my main premiere translation. But <laughs> but then I did some research about like other translations of the Iliad and the Odyssey, and I found, for example, that the translation of the Iliad by Robert Fitzgerald is also apparently quite good. I read a comment somewhere that a lot of professors teaching the Iliad recommend this translation by Robert Fitzgerald, so I decided to get this one, so I will be able to compare these two translations, so we'll see. I'm also thinking if I should get a Russian translation, which, like, I might, <laughs> so we will see, we will see, I might, but maybe two translations are enough for me. Yeah, this is the Iliad, the premier translation and apparently the easiest to read. Just currently the best translation on the market is by Robert Fakels. Uh, I will be also trying uh, Fitzgerald's translation. For the Odyssey, the same. Uh, Robert Fagels is going to be the main translation. And then I have this copy also. I decided to try another translation. Also Robert Fitzgerald. <laughs> So I have two translations by Robert Fagels and two by Robert Fitzgerald in different editions, but it's okay. These are my, um, these are going to be my main books which I will be reading. I might also get Russian translations of this work because I feel like this is such a foundational important text. I might as well invest <laughs> invest in it. Besides, each edition has different introductions, right, and different notes, so that's helpful. Okay, this one does have an, an introduction. Okay, this edition doesn't have an introduction and has no notes. The Odyssey, this translation does have an, and like a long one, like 60-something pages. 
So this one has an introduction. It has translator's postscript. It has notes. So this edition is great. Oxford World's Classics. They, they always have good introductions. They have bibliography. This edition also has some notes. And the Iliad also has maps. Also has a long introduction has some notes on the back stuff like that so yeah this this edition also has some notes and additional information if, if you want to get more information on different different translations of the odyssey and the iliad i will link a very good video down below so risha from for from for the love of classics she has done an extensive research on this topic because she's currently also reading i think she's reading the iliad currently so she has done a research on the best translation she by the way is also reading Fagels, Robert Fagels currently. If you want to see like a lengthy in-depth video about different translations of the Iliad, the video will be down below in the description. So that's it. Just to sum it all up, starting from April all the way through May and June, we will be reading the Iliad, the Odyssey and the Aeneid. You are very welcome to join. The link to the Discord group will be down below in the description box. There you will be able to discuss your experiences the book, to get some more book recommendations. I hope you will enjoy reading this trilogy with us. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are having a very good day, staying safe, and I will see you soon in my next videos. And I will see you in Discord group if you decide to join. I'm very excited. I have been wanting to read the Iliad, the Odyssey and the Aeneid for a long time. So finally we will be able to do that. So yeah, see you soon. Have a good day. I hope you join to the read along and see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.